Hi guys, thank you so much for tuning in to Melton with Milton, the Wax Dash Chronicles. I think my nose is getting a little stuffy, so um, probably gonna sound a little different on this video. Today, I wanted to talk to you about the Scented Squirrel. Um, it's owned by a wonderful person. Her name is Jess. Um, I actually came across this vendor um, before I even knew she was a vendor. It's so funny because um, I was in a D stash group and I was trying to get my wax fixed and I was like, who to try? And instead of trying a lot of different people, I wanted people to ship me a whole bunch of items in a box, you know, to me. So, um, so I was like, how do people, you know, get so much wax that they have to de-stash it? Like, that's crazy. Now I'm a crazy person, you know? So anyway, um, I saw that on one of the groups I'm in, they have a, like a daily melt challenge or either what's in your warmer. And I saw that Jess normally participates. And I always saw her post like a whole bunch of different vendors. So I was like, hey, how are you, you know? Um, what do you think about this company, et cetera, et cetera. And she gave me a lot of wonderful companies to try. And not only that, she made me um, a little D stash and sent it to me. Well, the funny thing was, I didn't even know she was a vendor at the time and she did not send me any of her stuff. Um, which, you know, I guess it just shows she didn't want to push herself, you know, on um, someone or whatever the case may be. So, fast forward like two weeks, I see people posting about the Scented Squirrel, and I'm a sucker for names. So, I'm like, oh, the Scented Squirrel, let me check that out. And then I see that the owner is Jess. I was like, hey, I've seen her name before. So, we conversed back and forth, and I was like, hey, I would really love to try some of your wax. And she said, well, we're going to have a wax sample that I'm going to do, and I have some that range for like $15, you pay $7 for shipping. But um, for all my newbies out there, um, I'm going to have a little small wax sample for you guys. So, I cannot wait. So, <laughs> one of my um, co-workers, actually, she's a wax addict, and she gave me three scent shots from the Scented Squirrel. So, I ran home because these are scents that I love, like caramel, and it was like a, a bunch of blends, but they were really really great so i was really really excited sliced the wax shots up got excellent throws in my wax melters i mean my wax warmers on her website which is super duper easy friendly i saw that she said her wax will work in any warmer but a 20 watt is preferred so i do have a 20 watt but being who i am i decided to try it out in my 16, 18, 20, and 24 watts. The 18 watts really didn't do the sample pieces justice, but the scent shots it did. And I'll definitely explain that to you guys in just a moment. So I went to her website, still nosy, still looking around, and I decided to purchase one of her samples. She has a newbie sampler, so I messaged her and I said, hey, uh, she was like, you get seven sample pieces of wax, which is like 0.7 ounces of wax um, per shapey at no additional cost except for the shipping. Her shipping is $6.80, but she just rounded it up to $7 for everybody. So that was really awesome and amazing. I decided to do that. I took the plunge and I got a whole bunch of variety uh, of things, which is great. Because one thing about Jess, her website will show you her blends are endless i mean she has went down and you know become a mixologist her her waxes will like well, just when you think you're tired of like patchouli or something like that she'll give you like patchouli musk birthday cake um i think it was like i forgot the name of it, it was something else and it just smelled really really good so without further ado um, I will tell you some things about her website and how her company came about. So, because I'm nosy, I said, Jess, how did you come up with your company? Um, and she said, I mean, the name of your company. And she was like, hey, well, you know, um, actually, I stay at home and I work and I do this full time. And I live in Kent, Ohio. And, um, you know, we have a lot of squirrels here, specifically black squirrels. So I just thought, hey, 
that just made it, you know, a really cool name for my business. And that's the, that's what we decided to go with. And she said that she just started pouring for fun. And then people, she started, you know, gifting it to people. And then people wanted to reorder. And before she knew it, this is basically what she does full time with the help of her husband sometimes. So her TAT time is like two to three days for ready to ship. Her custom blends are seven to 14 days, depending on if she has the wax on um, hand or not. I cannot imagine someone wanting something that she doesn't have because she has so many blends that she has to have any wax you can come up with pretty much. Um, so her website is very easy. When it first comes up, it's like, welcome to the Scented Squirrel. It has a, her logo and you'll, very, you'll notice it everywhere. And then it's just like listed. One of the things that will get you is that the scent shots is not adjacent to the pictures. She has over 200 cents. So you could just, you know, your eye over here is going to go this way if you try to figure it out. Uh, it may be good for people who are just tired of the norm and need a variety. I have OCD, so I will like look and then forget and then go back to it and be like, I need, I need, I need, I need. So um, the sample worked out really well for me. Um, her website also states that she is licensed and insured because she does make other products, including like lip balms and back products. So you guys could definitely check that out. She does offer refunds or exchanges within seven days. If you can provide a receipt, most people pay by PayPal. So she will stay behind her products. However, with the wax, because it is subjected, like throw is subjective. I don't really think you're going to get far with that. Additionally, I also want to let you know that her wax time to cure is like three to four weeks. So with the sample that I got, if you can look here, her packaging, it's just like a regular little baggie and it has her label and has like a little acorn on it. Although her logo is squirrels, you'll see these on her waxes and it'll tell you like the scent name and the scent um, notes and the pour date so you'll know when to cure it. So these were poured October 27th. The ones that I have here, the baggies that I saved are ones that I really want to talk about. Thought I had four. Okay, maybe I have three. Nevertheless, so I'm just going to give you guys an example of some of her blends so you can see how they are. So this one is Lemon Slices and Salty Manere. Um, this is like musky seaweed. Uh, I'm sorry, marina. This is musky seaweed, green zone, ocean. This smells so great in my bedroom. I melted this in my bedroom. I melted the entire scenty, um, sample, shapey. And I got a full eight hour throw out of that. My bedroom leaks into my bathroom. So it is my master. And I have a really, a really good size master. Um, my master bedroom, if it matters to anyone, it has the vents that come down, like, you know, comes from the ceiling and my wax warmer, which is a candle warmer, which is a 20 watt warmer. Um, it worked amazing in it. So it's still a hot plate. Um, um, I also melted peppermint and Lord of Mixed Rule. Um, this is patchouli, sandalwood, citrus, and vetiver. Um, this one was like a wild card. I love sandalwood and I like patchouli. I hate citrus and I didn't even know what vetiver was, but it's similar to a grassy scent. So when it started off, it started off wonderful. The throw for this for me was maybe a 2.5 out of 5 because it seemed to rise. I'm a short person. So when I was sitting on my couch, I couldn't really smell it. But when I stood up, I could get, you know, um, in the scent. Um, so that was one of the things that, you know, I wanted to let you guys know with the scent shots, I was able to get a throw of a five out of five. Um, the samples were really hard wax, but the scent shots have a little bit more soy in them. So I was able to cut them, but it wasn't like a messy thing at all. So I don't know if that makes a difference. Um, I melted two. This one was a little bit bigger and I actually had two of these. I melted this in my open space. My open space downstairs is 900 square feet. So it's like beach daisies, driftwood, and sea salt. I really enjoyed the scent. The scent was evident, but light. It was something I really enjoyed. Something I wouldn't have purchased on my own, but if I had the opportunity to, I would definitely purchase again, which is why I saved this little baggie. 
um, so that way you guys will know what it was and what I need to order again. So once you just add things to your cart and she ships them out to you, um, the cure time is four weeks. The shipping um, for priority is $6.80. However, if it is a smaller order and she can ship it first class, she will. So you can ask upon um, request. She does do um, like joint ventures with other wax uh, vendors. Right now, she's going to be doing one, I think, in like next week or so with um, Lovely, Lee, Lovely Naturals. So that's a great option for you. So all in all, for me, most of the wax from this vendor would have a light to medium throw for me in her samples. But her scent shots, for some reason for me, were very high throws. I don't know if it was the scents. I don't know if it was the wax. Because caramel can be pretty powerful. But normally patchouli is powerful. And the other blend I got from her was a pistachio blend. And I love um, pistachio. And it was kind of light um, for my taste. Would I order from this vendor again? Absolutely, because our customer service is impeccable. Um, she's a very sweet person. She's very interactive. Um, she made sure all of our orders came for everyone who did a sample. Um, and it's just very affordable. Her wax is very affordable. If you go to it, she doesn't have like $35 samplers, samplers that you have to take advantage of. They are reasonably priced. And they have some really interesting blends. So, um, I want to thank you guys for Milton with Milton, the Wax Dash Chronicles. Until next time.